This is page 280. And this first video is actually going to only be the your turn at the top of the page. And we'll do another video for the bottom of the page. I want to, I'm going to go nice and slow on these videos just to make sure you have full understanding. I'm going to make a whiteboard here and use it when I need to. I'm going to start with the first one. Number nine reads, uh, the directions are combined like terms. And number nine reads 8y minus 3y. And I want you to remember what like terms are. Like terms are when you have the same variable. And y is the same variable, so I can actually do the operation 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5, so the answer is 5y. It's kind of like saying you have 8y's and then you subtract 3y's. How many y's would you end up with? You end up with 5y's. So that first one's pretty simple. It should make a little bit of sense. Let's move on to number 10. Number 10 is a little bit more complicated. Because I've got 6x squared, and that seems easy, but I'm going to add that to, see this add sign? I'm going to add that to, uh, I don't know what I have here because it's inside parentheses. So whenever you see something like this inside parentheses, what we have to do is what's called the distributive property. And we've talked about the distributive property a couple times. It's when you take the number outside the parentheses and you multiply it by everything inside the parentheses. So I'm going to do 4 times x squared. Well, 4 times x squared is just 4x squared. That's not too hard. And in fact, it kind of looks like 4x squared. If you took this, if I change this to white, and if I colored out this parenthesis sign right here, it looks like 4x squared. So um, that's not too complicated. I'm gonna, Later, I'm going to do 6x squared plus 4x squared. But go back to this problem right here. I never finished because I have to multiply 4 by everything inside the parentheses. So I have to go back and multiply 4 by, times this 1 right here. And 4 times 1 is 4. I'm going to put that at the end of my expression. And then this subtraction sign you need to bring over. So how did I get all these numbers? This number I got by doing 4 times x squared. And this number I got by doing 4 times 1. And the subtraction sign I just bring over. So now what combined, what terms do I have that I can combine? It's the x squared. Like terms are when we have the same variable raised to the same power. So I've got 6 of these and 4 of these. That's a total of 10. And what is it? It's 10 x squared. And you can kind of see the problem right here. It's 6x squared plus 4x squared. That's 10x squared. So it's not too crazy complicated. And then I have a minus 4. And I can't subtract 4 from 10. I'm not allowed to because 4 is not a like term. 4 is a constant. These, are, um, these numbers have x, x squared. The 4 doesn't. And that's, what, like, that's the opposite of combining like terms. You can't combine 4 with 10 because the 10 is x squared and the 4 doesn't have any x squared. So you're not allowed to uh, subtract that. Now we just move on. We're done. That's the answer. We're not actually adding everything together. We're just combining the terms that are the same. All right, let's go through number 11 and identify the like terms. We've got an a to the fifth and an a to the fifth, which means I can uh, combine those. I've got 4 minus 2. Well, that's simple. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 what? It's 2 a to the fifths. And then you've got some b's. You've got four b's and another b. Four b's and another b is five b's. And this positive sign right here means we add them. And you can't add the two and the five because these are a, a to the fifths and these are b's. You can't combine those. Number 12. Number 12 is actually really simple if you understand that you're not allowed to add 8 plus 4. And why did I say that? Can you add up these 8m's to these 4n's? You cannot because they're different. Um, they're different variables. Um, that's what the directions say at the beginning. It says combine like terms. This uh, m right here, this m and this n, they're not like terms. You can't do that. You can't combine those. So instead of actually adding 8 plus 4, I, don't, I can't combine the 8m's to the 4n's. So I write that I'm going to add them. And I'm going to do that later when I know what m and n is. But I don't actually add up 8 plus 4. But what I do here is that I combine 14 and 12, except for I don't add them, I subtract them because it says subtract, and 14 minus 12 is 2. And that's added because this is a plus sign. So that last one might look simple, and it might even seem simple to you if you're like, well, if you're thinking to yourself, well, you can't add up this and this, so you just write them down, 8m plus 4, 4n, and then you add 2 because 14 minus 12 is 2. Yeah, it really is kind of simple if you can follow that, um, but it is... It's a new concept, so it's kind of tricky for you. Okay, uh, if you did not understand those four problems, either ask me for extra instruction or watch this video again. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop, and we're going to start a new video for the guided practice.